Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea, Rear for short, and I'm here to do your September 2020 money and career reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising. I hope you're well Virgo. So without further ado, let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching message or energy. Okay, I've got the Hanged Man and I've got the Two of Swords. The Hanged Man is coming out a lot. Um, I think for some of you it might well be partly to do with the wider collective situation that we've all been through with the pandemic um, and are still going through. But it could also be an individual experience here. So that's what we have as your overarching energy, the Two of Swords and the Hanging Man. Okay, so let's get the cards on the table. Okay, what do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides. So that was the Tarot of Dreams. This is the energy deck. Yeah, it's beautiful. We've got victory, number 28. Great, okay. Message for Virgo, angels. What is the message in money and career for Virgo? Thank you, September 2020. Thank you. There's something better. And it's to do with this victory. Yeah. Okay, Virgo. So I pull five cards this month. So the first card is the current situation you are in. Second card is the challenge. Third is what's going for you in this situation. What are the strengths of the situation or of you? Fourth card is the advice from spirit and the fifth card is the outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message Virgo. It won't resonate for everybody. So just take what resonates for you. Okay, what do we have for Virgo please? Okay, we've got the three of wands. The challenge position. We've got the king of wands. The star. Card of Aquarius. The King of Wands is Germany Fire Energy for me as a reader. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Seven of Cups is Advice from Spirit. And your Outcome Virgo. We've got the Two of Wands. Interesting. I had this card for Taurus, I think. Okay. Okay. Can we clarify the cards on the table, please? For Virgo, money and career for September 2020, please, angels, spirits, guides. Let's clarify the cards on the table for Virgo, thank you. Starting with this three of wands, current situation. Okay, I've got the eight, eight of Swords reversed. The Hierophant, card of Taurus, clarifies the King of Wands. The Nine of Cups. Clarifies the star. I mean, this is what's going for you here. The six of wands clarifies the seven of cups. And the ten of cups, beautiful Virgo, is clarifying the two of wands. I love the fact, again, we've got the victory card at the end with the chariot card of cancer. So signs on this table, which may well be part of your zodiac uh, make up or it might well be part of somebody else's in this situation king of wands is normally leo for me it can be fire energy aries leo sagittarius we have taurus we have aquarius yeah and the chariot is a card of cancer okay so there's a real feeling stuck energy in this situation virgo because 
the hanging man I mean I really like the hanging man energy it's illumination epiphanies light bulb moments something coming clear here in how you need to move forward aligned to where you need to be sometimes it can be out with the old way of looking at something in with a new the hanged man looks to, it hangs upside down uh, to look at something in a different way find illumination that he won't find by looking at something in the traditional sense so this is about opening your mind having a different perspective opening to all possibilities now and that's where you find the solution or the way forward to your issue um, because again there's two of swords is I don't know how to move forward I don't know how to make a decision or choice and the hanged man is saying well you move forward and you release from being stuck or release from being in a period of limbo by opening your mind to all possibilities looking at something in a different way um, it's almost kind of like yeah it is it is having that new perspective now the hanged man can be where uh, you know we have hanged man's for different situations this could be the pandemic you felt in a period of limbo a period of feeling like nothing's happening uh, stagnation it could well be to do with the wider pandemic situation of delays things being put on hold sometimes it can represent if there's been job losses or changes to the structure in terms of, of companies and you don't know what's happening, you feel in limbo, that can be that. Uh, it can be to do with health affecting your career and work as well. Um, obviously it can be in relationships too and so on and so forth. So the hanged man comes in, uh, it is that period of limbo, but it's that period of reflection that is illuminating something that you might not have considered had you not been in this period so it's a really important period of reflection it is major arcana it is major illumination and um, guidance from angel spirits guides so beautiful energy to tell you that there is something better and the universe has given you answers you know there is a message you trust your intuition your instinct your gut feeling you know it's intuitive energy uh, you are being illuminated there could be some epiphany some clarity that you're getting this month on how you need to move forward to something better you're going to come through this whatever this represents because there is victory here this is overcoming a challenge this is claiming a victory this is claiming a triumph so we've got the eight of swords and it's reversed so the eight of swords um, the Eight of Swords, when it's upright, it can be about negative thoughts, restrictive thinking. And it can be to do, and you know, it can just be how we're kept as prisoner of the mind. Our mind can be our best friend or our worst enemy. I say this all the time. So, I do feel that this again is a message of open to new perspectives as well now. Because there is a message here that there is something new that you can manifest this is the beginnings of success and you're being told to open to a new perspective here this is somebody seeing a new vision and taking action towards it and you can see the ships when you do there is something good coming your way so it's almost kind of like if you take action and you feel it's towards this new level of clarity illumination it is this new perspective that you're getting here Virgo this is something that is bringing growth, success, reward. So the King of Wands with the Taurus energy. Virgo, sometimes this can be about challenging somebody. You might have challenged a leader um, or it's not for everybody, but this might well have been um, that you might have disagreed or, or challenged somebody in a leadership position here. You know, the King of Wands in a challenged position can represent somebody who is a poor leader or a poor management of company. And I'm feeling that here. You know, this can be an establishment energy. Um, it can also be you need to challenge how the way in which you take action. And again, I'm feeling this with this new thinking, this new perspective as well. Um, how you take the lead in, in this situation now. 
I feel for you, Virgo, this is about challenging the traditional roots of how you would normally find solutions. Again, that hanged man is new thinking, new illumination, looking at something in a different way. And again, I'm feeling this with the Eight of, Eight of Swords as well. Um, yeah. Feeling of, of challenging the status quo here. Um, so whatever that means for you, you know, like I said, this can sometimes be where there may have been some poor management or you don't feel a company has been running a certain way properly. Um, there could have been some beliefs that you're holding here with regard to that respect and you want to do something about it. Either you might have challenged somebody or you're deciding to do something about it. You know, you're getting your beliefs, your your sense of, of personal conviction. This is the way I need to go. I need to do something about this situation because it doesn't feel like this has been handled or, or managed in the right way. And it's either by a leader or by a, a company as a whole. So the star energy is, I mean, this is what's going for you. You know, this is about liberation and new hope. And certainly with this, this is about take action towards a dream, a goal. You know, what is going to make you happy? What is going to make you fulfilled? Because this red hat is saying it's time to apply yourself and go for this new direction. Go for this new dream. Go for this new direction that you're being illuminate, that's being illuminated to you now through the hanged man. Um, I feel this is an energy of taking action aligned to this new path. It's a beautiful energy of you are being blessed and guided. It's a sense of renewal and hope and optimism as well, the star energy. It's so beautiful. There's a sense of new growth here. Um, but this is aligning towards a new hope, a new dream here, a new goal for you that is going to bring you greater happiness, fulfillment, joy, success, all of this kind of thing. This is somebody who's fulfilling or going for something that is going to fulfill their heart's desire. I love these two cards together because the star energy is divine wish fulfillment and this is you making your hopes, dreams and wishes come true by aligning and doing what you need to do to make it happen and I feel that's what this is you're putting a plan into action almost but I feel with this two of swords this is an intuitive energy you're being illuminated from within you know it's go within the answers the instinct the intuition the clarity the light bulb moment the epiphany all comes from within so there's a lovely message here Virgo that you will come through a difficult situation and I feel it's to do with whatever this energy is this is somebody who I mean this is a victory card you have three victory cards here so there is triumph in a situation Remember, the Six of Wands is a level of success as well. So the Six of Wands is a card of success, progress, having the courage to take action, to go for what you want now. And I think this is very much linked to your hopes, dreams and wishes, what this is representing, what is going for you, what you want to align to. This is taking action towards those, making, making conscious choices and decisions to go for something now. Um, for me, it could be in terms of a new job or putting a plan into action in doing something, setting up. I mean, it could well be doing your own thing, going your own way, setting up your own business. Um, but for me, you know, this is so beautiful because it's aligning with what this Nine of Cups represents. What is going for you? You can be victorious. You can make one of these hopes, dreams and wishes come true. Trust your intuition to make cho choices. This is choose wisely. But nevertheless, there is some sense of triumph here, Virgo. Look, you know. And again, again, this is just, I feel for some of you. This is somebody who is choosing what they want and what they don't want. They're taking their world in their hands and taking the risk and aligning to what is going to bring them greater happiness, success, fulfillment. Remember, the Ten of Cups is a card of productivity. What you put your energy and effort towards now is this goal, 
happiness, fulfillment. It is the happy ever after card, but it's a card of success as well. You know, it's Mars in Pisces. It is, and this is Mars energy, Mars in Aries, the initiator, taking action, taking the initiative, going for what you want and leaving what you don't want. So choosing your path, making life choices. And I feel for some of you that when you do, there's victory, there is positive shift, there is success, there is triumph. I think it's linked with this, you know, this is the rainbow of blessings, achieving the goal. Um, this is all linked to this nine of cups, you know, achieving the goal, fulfillment, satisfaction, happiness, beautiful energy. The, the chariot energy is leaving something behind and moving towards something new. And this is, you will get it. There is success. There is victory. There is triumph by your actions. I feel this is where you're pulling the reins of your life into balance. There's a driven energy with the chariot of where you're not happy with the current establishment, the current company that you're working for. So you're wanting to go for something else. You're wanting to move on, go for something new. You have clarity with this hanged man in terms of how you need to move forward now. And I think this inhibited thinking, this two of swords, this eight of swords reversed is saying things are becoming clear. You're understanding how you need to move forward and take action, put a plan into action. And I think it's towards making real happiness, fulfillment, joy, satisfaction, achievement come your way. There is three victory cards here, Virgo. It's a beautiful energy of allowing yourself to move on, start something new, take a chance, go for something new. Because when the two of sword, two of wands presents itself, you've gone from inaction with that two of swords to action at the end of this reading. The action that you're going towards, I feel for some of you, is bringing in this success. So it's a beautiful energy and it's interesting. I've got the 10 of pentacles. You might be wanting more money. I mean, this can be more money. This can be wealth. This can be maybe, and this is again is a goal achievement. I'm feeling this real sense of that achievement is within your grasp. Very clear what's going for you is the goal, the vision that you want is within your grasp. You can make it happen. Take action. Because I think there's some triumph coming your way. So really beautiful energy, Virgo. So I'm going to pull one more card to finish off this reading. Any other advice, please, angels, spirits, guides, any other advice that Virgo needs to consider in this reading for money and career, September 2020. We have the competition card, the five of wands. It can also be about conflict. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a milestone here. The, the, I mean, this is a celebratory energy as well. It, it feels for some of you that there is absolutely some kind of, of four of wands can be milestones, um, accomplishment, uh, some a, a level of success here and I do feel, I mean, it might well be to do with, I mean, you might be competing against other people here, Virgo. Um, and, and I kind of think that there will be some, it's a celebratory energy, the Four of Wands as well. So it feels like there is some kind of celebration associated with this. And, and it doesn't surprise me because you've got three victory cards. So you will be, uh, for, for those of you this re reading resonates for, there is victory here. Final message, please, angels, spirits, guides. Yeah, see past this situation. We've got the five of swords. Um, and I do feel because you are going to get the offer, you are going to get, I mean, this is you, Virgo. So this is incoming money, um, could be getting more money coming your way. The Knight of Pentacles can also be, I mean, this is you. The, the Knight of Pentacles is you, but it can be you holding the offer, holding the opportunity that you've been going for here. Um, there's a sense of you're going in the right direction. And again, the Knight of Pentacles can be a card of, I've waited for this. I've worked hard towards this. 
but I'm moving on from the conflict and there is some celebration, milestone, achievement this month. And I feel it's to do with this victory energy of this can be money coming your way, opportunity being offered to you, and this is you. So it's a lovely energy, Virgo. Okay, so final message, please, angels, spirits, guides, final message for Virgo. I'm really pleased that your card came out at the end, the Knight of Pentacles. Final message, please, for Virgo in money and career. Thank you. We have, yeah, <laughs> what did I say? Taking the initiative. We have the otter, initiations. Be open through this transitional time, and I think you are absolutely just going for it now. I'm going to pull one more. Yeah, I love this. You are the light. It is safe to step fully into your light. Oh my goodness, and that's what you are doing. This is you holding the coin, holding the opportunity, holding the money, the finances. It's beautiful. Reaping the rewards. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Virgo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.